Marva Farrington, YNC, USN. Desert Shield, Desert Storm uh, was brewing and uh, I was asked to join a Navy cargo handling unit. Um, the detachment was uh, five and it was out of Seattle at that time. It later moved to Tacoma and I think now they're in at Fort Lewis McCord Joint Base. But, um, oh, I should say, uh, I lived in the Tri-Cities, Washington, and I uh, lived in particular in Pasco and in West Richland while, while I lived there. And I would have we would have detachments at our reserve center and we, our, our drills, uh, we would drill at the local reserve center and then do our active training, our uh, 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 annual training at the headquarters of our uh, uh, like CHB5 headquarters in Seattle. Um, and we were called up, um, CHB-5 was called up to support the troop buildup for Desert Storm, Desert Shield, Desert Storm. And we left on December 26th in 1990 uh, to go to Subic Bay, Philippines, for who knows how long. <laughs> we had no idea. Um, spent a couple of days in Seattle getting everything prepared. Then we traveled to Fort, or not Fort Lewis, but McCord, where there we flew out of on a um, C-41, I think it was. Um, not commercial. <laughs> Jump seats. And uh, we were sitting in rows. Our, our battalion was 150 strong, and, uh, or, or thereabouts. And uh, the C-41 was a dedicated plan, plane for us to go from uh, McCord to Subic Bay. And we were had um, four rows, but anyway, we were knee to knee as we were sitting in our jump seats, and those are the most uncomfortable seats you ever want to spend time, any length of time on, and uh, in fact, the uh, air crew when they had to get from the front of the plane to the back of the plane or to get to be above us to give us instructions or anything like that because our all of our equipment machines and st and, and um, uh, vehicles and stuff like that were in the back of the plane we were towards the front of the plane but they would get up on the stanchions bet between the rows and uh, tell us, give us instructions and stuff like that, but we were knee to knee. I was, the knees of the person sitting across from me were touching my knees and shoulder to shoulder, literally, and you always had a shoulder to fall asleep on, you know, because it was a long trip. We went from, uh, from McCord to Pearl Harbor. <laughs> um, and then from there to, to Guam, and then to the Subic Bay. Uh, the only time we got off the plane was at those particular points because they had for refueling. And then we were back on. So there was no time to really rest your rear end from those seats. <laughs> um, we crossed over the international date line and the, uh, uh, we spent New Year's Eve on the plane and uh, left the cold of the Northwest to the jungle environment of Subic Bay. <laughs> so, you know, it was quite a, sh a shock. That's the first time I'd ever been in, in the Philippines. So that was 
quite an experience. <laughs>